Hello and welcome back to Redirecting. Sometimes when I hear of things going on in Africa, I almost feel like we're not too much different, um, especially now. Of course, um, the Western culture has really gotten to many of us here that are in the diaspora, uh, but we are starting to see Africa is catching up with us. Okay. Um, there's an article that I'm looking at where... These guys in Africa, they are saying, you will suffer if you marry Ghanaian ladies. Catch you a year of return girl, impregnate her, and you will experience fortune, good fortune. I'm like, what? A year of return girl, you know what that is, right? So anyway, Counselor Lutter Roth has advised Ghanaian guys to make good Use of the year of return, speaking with Zion Felix on the Uncut Show. The outspoken relationship counselor implored single guys in Ghana to capitalize on foreigners trooping into the country and change their fortunes. He urged them to seek a relationship with these ladies and impregnate them afterwards. He says, that he cautions that they will suffer if they marry Ghanaian ladies. And so that sounds very similar to how it is here in the U.S. where you have our men and our women saying that if you marry your own black people, then you're going to have a life of mediocrity, right? Both the men and the women are saying this. But over in Ghana, you have the men saying that if you marry women from Ghana, you're going to suffer, Right. That's that's ridiculous. So black people are not too much different wherever you are in the world, whatever continent you're on. He goes on to say, or the article goes on to say he made this pronouncement when explaining the importance of sex tourism as part of preparations toward the 2019 edition of his orgasm conference which will take place at Unique Event Palace Trade Fair Center in Accra, Ghana on December 25th. The conference is expected to start at 5 p.m. We'll have speakers like L lawyer Maurice Ampav, Gloria Kobe, Dr. Adu Boteng, Prophet Samson Amantang, Abeku Sananta, Santana, Nana Kofi, Owusu, and others. Now, there is a link to a video that I can, if I remember, leave in the description area. But I found it quite disturbing that um, is being talked about uh, that they feel that they can literally take advantage of those who are uh, going to Ghana for the year of return as some type of pilgrimage home. For us, or for those who went, should I say, they're like trying to reconnect with their roots and like, oh my goodness, I go to the castle. I'm going to experience all of these emotions from where my ancestors were captured and carried away. And just all of these feelings and emotions that many Americans or those in the diaspora experience when they go back to Ghana or when they visit Ghana for the first time. But yet there is a plot in the minds of these Ghanaian men that they want to manipulate your mind start dating you, and then impregnate you. So that means they're going to talk their way into your pants or under your skirt or dress or whatever you're wearing. They're going to finesse you with words so that before you return home to whatever part of the world that you live in, during your time of touring, they want to get you into bed and impregnate you while at the same time encouraging others, other Ghanaian men, that to marry their own women is going to be a bad mistake. But getting their hands on a woman that is touring for the year of return, which is something else again that I'm going to talk to you all about, that year is almost over. This year is almost over and something isn't adding up. And I think I know what it is. But um, anyway, isn't this bold family? These Ghanaian men plotting. 
Plotting for what? Mm, mm, mm. Tell me your thoughts in the comment section, family. What are your, th your thoughts on this? These men wanting to take advantage of the year of return as an opportunity to get into your pants or under your skirt. Father, y'all help us. This world is filled with deception. People deceiving and being deceived. Lying, cheating, and conniving. Backbiting, jealousy, envy, strife, bitterness, wickedness. Running rampant all around the planet. Mm, mm, mm. Okay, family, that's enough of this. I wanted to share this with you all. I'm really curious to know what those of you that follow this channel, I want to know what y'all think about this. Ain't this some stuff? All right, family, I'm out of here. Be sure to ring the bell to be notified.